How's it going, Dave and Common Book Investments? So in this video, we're gonna look at five keys that are dropping in price. And one of them I wish would go back up because I think I specced on it back in, I don't know when it was, 2020, 2021. It was forever ago. And I personally bought myself a bunch. Usually if I spec on a book and I tell you guys about it, I personally bought as well. You know, I practice what I preach, but you know, you can't win them all. And yeah, so, but you know, it is what it is. All right, let's get in it. First, we got new Teen Titans annual number two. This is the first appearance of Adrian, uh, who's the vigilante. And a 9.4 is down 61% from uh, 155 to 60. A 9.6 is down 58 from 250 to 105. And a 9.8 is down 70% from 470 to 140. So yes, the, the vigilante is in the Peacemaker show. And yeah, um, I think it's Adrian Price is his name. Going off the top of my head, I have no idea. I mean, it's Adrian something. I want to say price. But anyways, uh, yeah, this book, you know, obviously wasn't really worth much before. And then obviously, you know, Peacemaker TV show came out and propped this book way up. I really like the Peacemaker TV show. I thought it was fantastic. I can't wait for season two if they even are going to make a season two. I have no idea what they're doing with that. It's kind of weird um, how they do shows these days. Like back in the day, they would make one season, and if it got picked up for another season, like, it would go, I don't know what the seasons were from, like, I think they were around school. So, let's say September to, like, March or something, April. You'd have a show, then they'd take the summer off, and then season two would start again in September. Now, shows these days, it's like, all right, it was a hit. All right, in two to three years, we'll do season two. And by then, it's like, I don't care. I've already forgotten about it. I don't know why they do... I don't know why they do that. If it, and what boggles my mind is when they'll have like a hit and it'll be in season two or three and then it'll be like two or three years. Like Invincible came out. They had season one. Season two is coming out when? I have no idea. And it's been forever. It's literally been forever. It came out, what, two, three years ago at this point? So nonetheless, this book uh, will probably go up a little bit because it's getting to the point where it's back to where exactly where it was before I started going up. So I imagine it will probably get a little bit of juice when uh, season two comes out. Next, we got Moon Knight number 25. A 9.4 is down 61% from 155 to 60. A 9.6 is down 58% from 300 to 120. And a 9.8 is down 70% from, wow, 1400 to now selling for $250. Yikes. And it looks like it was down before it started getting any kind of boost you know, back in 2018. Uh, yeah, there's, I mean, the Moon Knight run, I think it goes to 38, number one through 38, that original Moon Knight run. And there's a lot of random keys in there. I say keys lightly because it was more of just rumors and speculation. And I, I still don't know how these rumors get started. But a lot of these books in there were propped up because the Moon Knight TV show is coming up and people were like, oh, you got to jump in and get this random book because this random character's in it and it's going to be in the TV show. So even if most of the time it wasn't in the, the, the characters weren't in the TV show at all, but even if it was, why would that like most likely those characters will just be in it for maybe one episode, maybe a couple episodes and that'll be it and you'll never see, for, uh, see them again. So why are you jumping out and buying this first appearance of blah blah man you know it's like okay like there's no real reasoning behind it especially if it wasn't expensive before if the book had some you know something going on with it before as in it was like kind of expensive or up in value then sure yeah i could profit up but when when these books are worth like basically case cost and then all of a sudden they say some character is going to be in some tv show and then it propped it was that one uh fist of kenoshu uh kanshu whatever to say um number two it was uh, what's his face uh i really like him as an actor and now i'm blanking on his name ethan hawk played the character and he just appeared one off in number issue number two and then a book went through the roof but then the thing was the book was case cost before so where do you think it's going to go case cost again like the only way books go up is Ethan Hawke's character, A, is a standout character. They make a spinoff about him. 
that blows up. He gets his own comic line, that blows up. And then down the line, they now have another TV show, movie, you have toys of him, all that kind of stuff. That's how you get a character or a comic book to become valuable. All right, next we got Star Wars 107. This is the last issue. A 9.4 is down 63% from 216 to $81. A 9.6 is down 48% from 425 to 220. And a 9.8 is down 74% from 1800 to now selling for 468. Yeah, this is a low distribution uh, issue because it's the last issue. The art's not very good. <laughs> uh, these last issues, some of the art was just not very good, at least in my opinion, art's subjective. But nonetheless, um, yeah, I mean, this, not much, much to say about it. Um, it is what it is. It's dropping. It'll probably hover around this price, to be honest. That's probably where it should be, not no $1,800. All right, next we got Thundercats number one. A 9.4 is down 63% from 4.29 to 1.99. A 9.6 is down 48% from 11.48 to 3.25. And a 9.8 is down from 22.50 to 500. That's down 74%. Look at that graph. Just boom, boom. So this, this is the one that I spec'd on. <clears throat> There's rumors that they're going to have a movie come out. Yada, yada, yada. You know, this is a pretty big show, cartoon in you know, the 80s. Personally, I never watched it. They've done different iterations throughout the years. They had toys, all that stuff. Typical thing that they did back in the 80s. Um, maybe even a video game. I don't know. But nonetheless, I have a bunch of copies of number one. And uh, yeah. Not much to say about it other than it keeps dropping and I see no sign of it slowing down. I mean, I guess... 9.6 is only down 48%, so that's good. I mean, it's down 74%. It's not the biggest drop that we've seen on these shows. But I expect this one to continue to drop, and I expect all my copies to lose money. All right, last on the list is Strange Tales 180. A 9.4 is down 59% from 704 to 289. A 9.6 is down 46% from 995 to 540. And a 9.8 is down... 38%, which is not that bad, from a little over 5,000, now selling for 3,100. It's the first appearance of Gamora, and she is in the Guardians. But Gamora's also had her own spinoff on comic books. You know, she's been around the block a little bit. So down 38% to me for 9A is not that bad. Um, will it continue to drop? I have no idea. Mm, maybe a little bit. But if even if you look at the 9.6 and 9.4, they're down 46%. 59% is eh, not that good. But 46% is not that bad. Because what I do is I go from like the peak one that's one sold for. And if you look at it, these are all sold for in 2022. So <clears throat> even in like the 9.6, 9.4, they were peaking in 2022. They were not peaking in 2021 with the big comic boom. When everything started going down, they're still peaking. So... Down 46%. It looks bad when you go from 995 to 540. But if you think of it, um, that was like the top one sold, one selling for 540. I expect it to still drop a little bit, but overall, that's not that bad. Not as bad as other ones on the list. Uh, that'll be it. Have a great day.